Hi, today I'm going to talk about the CAPM online course, how it is prepared and how it's going to help you pass the CAPM exam. You guys know that the CAPM outline, course outline have been changed, which means there is new course which you need to do to pass the CAPM exam. Now this particular course which is prepared is in line with the new CAPM guidelines. Um, let me show you how exactly the course is structured. So this is once you buy this course, the course is enabled for you at lms.kavitasharma.net and if you come here you're gonna see various heads out here. So the first one is project basics you're gonna see um, you know uh, study capsules which consist of the video for some time and the it will evaluate you on the concept which was explained in the video um, and both of these things are called study capsules um, similarly the same pattern follows so if you look at project and operations there is a video of the video is of six minutes and then uh, the then there are let's play to do the video the let's plays are for you to do as many times as possible you can i can review the attempt and uh, you can see you know how much time it's gonna take for you to give the answer um, typically the answers are the, these are 15 questions which you need to do and uh, you would need some review time to look at the answers if you have given them wrong even if for the answers which you have given them right you need to know why it is right so let me um, move back and give you the over, overall perspective of what is it so the CAPM course is divided into five module names and each module has some study capsules. I have shown you the study capsules here. Um, these are the study capsules which you can see. For example, if I come back and I show you project basics, it has different study capsules. Um, similarly, all the data is here. So you have study capsules with these names. And then total time which is required to do is here along with how many questions are there in the let's play and what is the review time so total time to do a study capsule is this much um, so if i look at it from the uh, summary perspective project basics gonna take 60 minutes in the video time and then you have certain questions to do review time is typically same as let's play question but sometimes can be you know less or more so the total time required is here which you see similarly business analysis you have certain study capsules and then there are you know review time which is required same goes for um, agile let's see what are there so there are agile life cycles and then the um, you know questions um, if I look at stakeholders then there are different ones which you have here so I'm just gonna and then predictive processes and it has different study capsules along with the time um, let me show it to you over the LMS also so you we have project basics business analysis study capsules here agile life, life cycle here which is third module fourth module is stakeholder communication and people and then fifth is predictive processes you predictive process is slightly big but you do want to do it for your perspective understanding the projects and uh, to have a growth path towards PMP and obviously passing the exam CAPM exam here you can download the uh, you know 25 PDUs some feedback is required so do that so here you get a PDU certificate 25 PDU certificate the certificates kind of look like this it can be let me show it to you it can it has your name when you have completed this and you can submit it to PMI for your verification or eligibility of the CAPM course 
So let's talk about the study plan. Now you have seen the project basics, uh, total time required. So I've kind of added number of hours required here. So if I look at project basics, the total time requirement is 2.8 hours. You should be comfortable to do it in one day if you keep three hours in your schedule or if you keep two hours in your schedule so typically I've kept two hours per day block your time if you are doing self-study block your time to do self-study for CAPM exam towards the exam um, so project basics gonna take two days for you business analysis is gonna take one day agile project life cycle 1.1 day I'm gonna just round it up um, take one day stakeholder communication and people gonna take 2.5 days or three days and then predictive processes gonna take somewhere around 5.7 or six days so total requirement if i look at you should be able to complete it comfortably between 12 to 15 days that's how the study time should be now once the study time is done you have gone through the course it will help you understand the concept the second thing after doing this course is you need to start evaluating yourself how do you evaluate yourself so um, come back to LMS there is another course which is given for you the course is CAPM test it, uh, it has a 21 days plan and device questions so you can go ahead and do device questions and full length question five full length question so typically you would need to have somewhere around 10 15 to 20 days to do this and you should be able to complete your CAPM preparation for within uh, 21 days to if you take 2.5 hours per day you should be able to complete it within 21 days maximum by 40 45 days so that's how the overall CAPM preparation looks like for you that's it from me in case you have any question please write to me you have my email ID I look forward to answer any of your question thank you have a very nice day bye bye